Dale and Darren start to have an argument with each other across the main road. It's pathetic. I take charge. Run at Darren Murray. I hit him full force with a baseball bat in the head. He got angry. Then he pulled a machete out the back of his trousers. All of our crew shit themselves and ran except my brother Billy and my friend Terry Pierce. Flea, Ian Henderson, Dale, Big Mac, and I'm sure Jimmy Teasdale was there, all ran away. So me and Darren are fighting in the middle of Union Street. We're close to Fleetham Street School. We've now ended up in the middle of the road, killing each other with bats and machetes. Buses and cars have had to stop. No one else got involved. My brother Billy and my friend Terry Pierce never once joined in. Neither did Jason, Darren's brother. Darren Murray is huge, stronger than me. Every time he's hitting me over the head with the machete, I can feel the crash helmet that I was wearing starting to come off. All of a sudden, I can hear sirens, someone running and plastic Macs rubbing together. The cavalry have arrived. Police. I'm over the f***ing moon. There's two police officers turned up. My heart has just dropped out. One of them's five foot nout, and the other is ginger, roughly my height. These two police officers are shitting themselves. Darren is running riot with a machete. He's picked the little bobby up with one arm and threw him away like a piece of paper. As the little bobby is picking himself up off the floor, Darren hits him over the head with the machete and leaves him for dead. Then he turns his attention back to me. The ginger bobby, who's now got hold of me, is using me as a human shield. I'm screaming at the police officer to let go of me because Darren is going to kill me. The police officer's having none of it. He's petrified. He's still got me planted firmly in front of him while Darren is going f***ing mental with the machete. I've got no choice. I have to nut the police officer so that he'll let go of me. We both end up on the floor. I fall on top of him. Darren is still going off with the machete. He takes a swing at me, misses me by a whisker, then drops it. I now have no crash helmet on. I grab the machete off the floor. I'm knelt over the ginger police officer. I tell him not to worry and throw the machete over Fleetham Street School wall. This is on the night. No kids were at school. A policeman's been injured. He's in a bad way. About 30 policemen turn up and knock the out of us. Me and Darren are both handcuffed and thrown into the same police van. Our hands are handcuffed behind our backs. We're both bouncing all over the back of the van, both struggling to sit upright. We're not on seats. We're on the police van floor or being driven to Middlesbrough Police Station. We arrive at the police station. The van doors are opened. There's about 50 policemen all stood there with their shirts wide open, screaming for our blood, shouting the policeman's name who has been injured. I'm going to be deadly truthful here. I was pushing Darren out of the van with my feet while telling them it was Darren who hit the bobby with the machete. It didn't matter, though, because we both got f***ing battered all over the holding room. <laughs>